E here, I got a package. Uh, today's package is a long time coming. Susan, it came, <laughs> finally. So I went out to the mailbox today and I got one piece of book mail and then I looked in there and I was like, wait a second, there's another package, who this from? And I opened it up and guess what, Susan? It finally came. So my friend uh, Susan sent me The Grown Up by Jillian Flynn, right? Yeah. This was a book of the month selection? Really? Oh, oh special gift for our members. Uh, da, da, da. Susan said she didn't like it. She felt it was, what was it, pornographic, you said? So I'll probably end up enjoying it quite a bit. Um, I didn't like Gone Girl. I liked Sharp Objects okay, and I loved Dark Places. So I'm interested in getting this. This thing is tiny. Someone told me it was only a short story. Yeah, it's only 62 pages long, and it's super tiny. To give you a side-by-side, -side, here's a regular hardcover. Let's see if I can do this. And here is this. It's also super thin. Look at that. Look at the size of this thing. All right. So... Uh, does it say what's what? Yeah. Um, Jillian Flynn's Edgar Award winning homage to the classic ghost story published for the first time as a standalone. Uh, a canny young woman is struggling to survive her perpetuating... No. <laughs> I'm sorry. A canny young woman is struggling to survive by perpetuate... Per perpetrating... Perpetrating various levels of mostly harmless fraud. On a rainy April morning, she is reading auras at Spiritual Palms when Susan Burke... Susan, that's almost your name. Susan Burke walks in. A keen observer of human behavior, our unnamed narrator immediately diagnoses beautiful, rich Suzanne as an unhappy woman, eager to give her lovely life a dramatic injection. However, when the psychic visits the eerie Victorian home that has been the source of Susan's terror and grief, she realizes she may not have to pretend to believe in ghosts anymore. Miles, Susan's teenage stepson, doesn't help matters with his disturbing manner and grisly imagination. The three are soon locked in a chilling battle to discover where the evil truly lurks and what, if anything, can be done to escape it. What about this is pornographic, Susan? The grown-up, which originally appeared as What Do You Do in George R. R. Martin's Rogues Anthology, proves once again that Jillian Flynn is one of the world's most original and skilled voices in fiction. Yeah. I'm excited. Uh, like I said, it's super short. It's only 62 pages long. And, uh, it says thanks to George R.R. George R. Martin who asked me to write him a story. Well, if it's for George R.R. R. Martin, it probably got boobs and beheadings in it. <laughs> Anyways, thank you, Susan. I'm so glad it finally came. I know you'll be happy that it finally came, that you, uh, didn't waste your money sending it to me. I'm super excited to jump into this. And I will definitely give you a review, the, although it sounds pretty good. Uh, and if it's pornographic, I probably won't hate it as much as you do. Just saying, because I kind of like that kind of stuff. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been another unboxing. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!